Paris. I'm here to do another video for you today. So I wanted to do this video to talk about my capsule um, workwear wardrobe. A lot of the videos that I've watched about other people that do somewhat of a capsule wardrobe for workwear, um, they work really corporate jobs, so something like accounting um, or at a bank, uh, legal office, that sort of thing. So it's really structured outfits where you have to have dress pants, you have to wear a blazer and kind of a button up. Being in a creative field, I wanted to do this video to share my ideas um, with other people who are also in a more creative type job. One thing I think for us is that first impression that we give to clients or during an interview or something is that we want to come off professional, um, however still showing a little bit of our creative flair. Um, and then on the other scope of things, sometimes as a creative individual we tend to go overboard on our creative outfits and maybe we're not quite bringing it back in um, to still fit within those professional parameters. I hope this video gives you a lot of inspiration on how to create your own capsule wardrobe especially if you do have a job within the creative industry. Creating your capsule wardrobe around these types of pieces really helps to show your personality, all the while still fitting in with any professional circumstance that you'll find yourself in. So looking at my capsule wardrobe from a glance, what I've really tried to do is keep it quite neutral. So I play within grays, blacks, and then into more warmer tones like the beiges and browns. And talking within a creative um, wardrobe, a lot of people, they immediately think, well, I have to have color. One of the things that I do for myself is I limit myself to actually one color when it really comes to my professional wear, and that is this kind of maroon pink spectrum. I find when I only pick one color, it helps me when I'm shopping so that immediately I can put the blinders on if I see something in a blue or a yellow. Um, I don't introduce that into my closet just because when I stick to one color, it's a lot easier for me to pair it with all the other things within my wardrobe and having that color you can do it well you can search for only the perfect things within that color um, so that's what really helps for me and that's the color i've selected find one that works for you if you're into blue tones or if you're into really bright yellows and neons pick a certain color that works for you and i would use that as your main hero um, for anything within the color spectrum inside your wardrobe so jumping into all the individual pieces i do have an assortment of white short sleeve shirts I find this is the easiest element to purchase. It's the easiest element to find. Um, and every season, you know, if you go shopping maybe you know, once every quarter sort of a thing, you can always be pulling white shirts because it goes with any pant and it's a really easy thing to shop for and find virtually any season of the year. So going through a few of my white shirts, um, it's really simple, really clean. Um, something like this adds a little bit more of a creative flair because you're creating a wider shape up top. Um, when you do wear the shirt, these sleeves do flare out, so that's great. Especially when you pair it with something high-waisted, you create more of that hourglass type look. Next, I have this shirt here. Now, this would just be a classic white t-shirt. The thing I do like about this is it's slightly more of a knit. My next white shirt is a button-up blouse. The thing I really like about this, it does have just a little bit of volume here on the shoulders. So it elevates it again just one more step from your classic plain white t-shirt. My next white shirt is this one here. So it does have a lot going on in terms of a pattern. So it has some stripes and then it has some floral detailing to it as well. So moving away from the whites and into some of the grays in my wardrobe, uh, the first thing I have is actually this t-shirt dress. So I recently got this one from Marshalls. Uh, it's a really great texture. Again, on the back, it does have the buttons rolling down the back um, and it is longer in the back as well, which I love for work, especially if there's a policy um, wherever it has to meet the knee. So this one is a little shorter in the front 
and then longer in the back and it would meet most dress codes I think at the office. For summer I pair this uh, just with a cute pair of strappy sandals um, and then in the winter months because I do live in Canada I do have some tights that I could pair with it um, and then wear it with a boot and then a small jacket. Next, I recently got this shirt from Frank and Oak. I still have the tags on it, actually. So it's a great short shirt, especially if you're wearing any high-waisted pants. Because I do live in Canada, we do have colder months. Um, so I think for anybody who's working in a professional field, and you are in a colder climate, you need to have some sort of a sweater dress. I do have a pair of professional leggings that I wear with it as well. So now moving into some of the other winter items in my wardrobe, I do have quite a few sweaters. So something like this is great. Again, you can pair it with a dress pant, you can pair it with jeans or like a leather legging. next sweater I have is this one here so it is shorter in the front and longer in the back what I love about this is it's really easy to do a quick little tuck into dress pants or jeans and still have kind of that flare on the back so the next sweater I have is this one here again slightly different um, than your run-of-the-mill sweater My next sweater is a true testament to my capsule wardrobe. So I have actually had this sweater since I was in high school. So this is a great example of a classic shape, a classic color um, and style that really you only have to buy one and it should last you for years. And then last but not least, when it comes to sweaters, I do love to have just a classic um, warm neutrals. Of course, every work capsule, especially if you're in a creative field, I think needs to include a denim shirt. Um, this one, I love to roll up the sleeves. I love to pair it with a pair of leather pants um, or tuck it into the front of some nice black dress pants as well. So this is a really interesting piece for me. Um, you usually can find these at Walmart, you can find them at department stores, that sort of thing. So it's more of an oversized sweater and then it does have the arm cutouts. So moving into jackets and blazers, uh, this one is brand new. I haven't worn it yet, so I still have the tags on it. It was $60 at Marshalls. Next, what workwear wardrobe wouldn't be complete without a classic black blazer? And then the final blazer that I have in mind, this is actually from Frank and Oak. The next piece I introduced to my workwear capsule um, is this one here. It's really unique for me. I've never owned anything like this before. So moving into the color portion of my wardrobe, one of my favorite pieces I ever bought for myself was actually this leather jacket here. Because it does fit within my color parameters, it's a great addition to any of the other neutrals I have going on in my wardrobe. So next, going with that pinky maroon color, I do just have a simple t-shirt. So this shirt here is quite similar in shape to this white shirt I had first shown you guys. So it has that three quarter inch sleeve and then it's just long and flowy. So next incorporating my color, this turtleneck I did get last year from Frank and Oak. Uh, again, it fits with my color, it fits with that pink scheme and it's just a really easy layering sweater. Now if you're 
somebody who's in a very creative field where maybe you don't wear a whole lot of blazers, a bomber jacket is a really great option. And then the final sweater um, I'm showing you guys today uh, is this one. So moving into pants, I'll show you my three dress pants and then three jean style pants that I also pair with my outfits. So the first dress pant is this one here. So these are actually from Frank and Oak. They're a little bit more like, um, like a colored jean. However, they're super high waisted and then they do have really wide bottoms. So the next dress pants I have are actually a pair of vintage pants. So my mother-in-law gave me these pants when she was clearing out um, her closet. So they are genuine high-waisted like MC Hammer pants, if you will, from the 80s. So you know, if you go to thrift stores, sometimes you can find things like this that are really vintage pieces. <music> And last but not least for dress pants, these are just a very simple black pair of pants. Again, they're high-waisted and then they flare out. So none of my dress pants that I own are actually very fitted. Um, I am keeping my eye out for another pair of potentially black fitted pants, but for the most part when it comes to dress pants, I prefer ones that kind of flow away from the leg. <music> So if you are in the creative field where you're allowed to wear jeans um, and some different pant options, what I would strongly suggest would be a pair of leather pants. So these ones here are great because they actually are a little thicker than like say a leather legging. Um, so you still do have a pocket. And then next are my jeans. So it's really simple. I have a pair of dark wash skinny jeans and then I have a pair of lighter wash wide leg jeans. These ones are also high waisted. So this here is just slightly more of that creative look. Um, and then these ones here are your more traditional run of the mill skinny jeans. So starting off with shoes is just a very classic black flat. These I wear so often, it is likely something that you'll have to swap out every year because um, you'll get so many miles with just a classic pair of black flats. Next are heels. I typically don't wear a lot of heels. As a designer, I am going to different trades. Um, I'm visiting show homes, meeting with clients, so I am on my feet a lot. I would wear a heel when I know I'm going to be in the office most of the day and sitting. Um, so these ones here are great because they do have a little thicker base. So if you are doing a little bit of running around, this is slightly more comfortable than just your regular streamlined heel. <music> The next thing I have are a pair of sandals. So these ones are from Steve Madden, but I did actually buy them at Marshalls. Having the black and the brown is great because you can pair them with any of the browns in your outfit or any of the blacks. Um, and then when it comes to purse, again, you can match a brown purse or a black purse. They really could go with either. So because I am in Canada, I wanted to jump in on some of my boot options. So I think for anybody that lives somewhere with snow, you definitely need to have a few boot options so you're not constantly having to swap your shoes from your commute to the office to once you're in the office. So these are great. They'll get me through the snow as I walk to my car and through the parking lot. Um, I'm certainly not climbing any mountains in these. Um, but then they're comfortable for all day in the office as well. here I absolutely love. I am kind of sad because they're suede. Um, so these ones I do have to take a little bit better care of than the leather boots. And one of the wonderful things about these, so they're actually tongs and I did get them from Winners as well. They have a wooden heel. So it's just something super unique I haven't seen on a boot before. And these are the types of things I would say if you're looking to create more of a creative wardrobe, keep your eye out for just very unique funky things that you don't see um, lots of people wearing. 
Those are the things I try to scout out to add to my wardrobe. Next, moving into sneakers. I think it's very important in this day and age to have a pair of white sneakers. These work great with dress pants, they work great with jeans, and if you're in the creative industry, chances are you're on the go. So for myself, again, on those days where I'm maybe staging a show home or picking up samples, wearing my sneakers gets me a lot of miles and it keeps my feet comfortable all day. And then, of course, I do have a pair of black sneakers as well for the same reasons. I think everybody needs a pair of sneakers to incorporate in their wardrobe. I just choose to have a pair in black and a pair in white um, to go with whatever outfit I'd be pairing with these. And then, last but not least, um, I do just have a nice pair of leather loafers. These ones I did in my classic pink color to go with and match any of the pinks that I'm incorporating in the rest of my wardrobe. This is where I say it's really easy when you select one color and run with it because you can then echo that color in accessories like shoes, jewelry, and handbags. So I've ran you through everything in my wardrobe. The next thing I really want to do for you guys is actually put it all together and do a quick montage of what some of these outfits look like on and how I'm able to mix and match different things with each item um, to show you how you can get the most miles out of your wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, drop it in the comment section below. I will also feature this on my blog. You can check it out at my website, www.alexandriaparis.ca. Again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.